In this session, let us try to understand the process of reading data from HDFS. For a client to read data from a Hadoop cluster, it needs to have the Hadoop client library, which is in the form of a Java jar file. Along with this, it also needs to have the cluster configuration data, as this data is required to locate the name node. Let us assume the client wants to read a file named log.txt which is located within the folder slash user slash Hadoop. The client would begin the read process by contacting the name node and specifying the name and location of the file it would like to read. Now the name node would try to validate this user. Once this user has been validated it would check whether the requested user has all the appropriate permissions to access this file. If this file is present and the requested user has all the appropriate permissions to access this file, then the name node would respond back to the client with the first block ID of the requested file along with the list of all the data nodes that have a copy of the requested file sorted by the distance. This distance is calculated based on which rack the requested file is present, whether the blocks of the requested file are present on the same rack or on a different rack. The configuration data is used to calculate the rack distance as it holds information about all the hosts and racks that are part of its cluster. Since the client has all the data related to the file it is looking for, it can contact directly to the data node and read the data from it. The process of reading data from the data node keeps repeating until all the data blocks of the requested file have not been retrieved or the client cancels this process by closing the stream. During the read process, if the data node fails or the process dies for some reason, then the client automatically tries to read the data from the next data node that holds a copy of the requested data. If the copy of the requested data is unavailable, on all the data nodes, then the read process fails. This is how the data is read from HDFS.